What is up guys? My name is Taylor and this is Daniska Projects. In today's video, I'm going to be going over my home lab setup. So what is a home lab? A home lab is an environment where you can safely run and test non-production equipment for personal growth or in-home experiments. This environment can consist of large enterprise equipment with multiple racks, or it can just be some old PCs you may have lying around. My home lab is still in its infancy, but I plan on making future videos for any upgrades that I make down the road. Now, let's go over to my cabinet and take a look at what I've got. Now, if you haven't seen my video on how I built this cabinet, be sure to check that out. The link is gonna be up here at the top somewhere. I'm going to start at the top of my cabinet and work my way down. Up here at the top, I have my patch panel, and this is where all my external lines come in. For example, for my desktop computer in the other room, and my WAN connection, and my printer. I've got a 5-port gig switch mounted on the inside of the cabinet that actually runs over to the patch panel. I did this to clean up some wiring, and I also didn't have a great way to mount the switch. This patch panel is from Amazon Basics, and the link is in the description if you would like to get the same one. Next up, moving down to you, I have my Edge router. This is actually a custom OpenWRT router that is built off of a Netgear N6250. I have a video coming soon showing how I assembled that, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. This router also acts as my firewall. I've got my main firewall rules set up here, and the traffic is separated into two zones, internal and my DMZ. The DMZ, or the demilitarized zone, is where I keep my network traffic that is accessed from the external zone, such as my web server, mail server, etc. And the internal zone is everything else. Moving down again, I have two switches. I have an HP Pro Curve and a Cisco Catalyst. At the moment, these are configured as dumb switches, but in the future, I want to set up up some trunks and some more VLANs, but for right now they're not very interesting so I'm just going to gloss over them. Lastly, all the way down at the bottom I have my Dell PowerEdge R710. I picked this server up second hand and it's almost nine years old as of right now. It has dual Xeon X5570s and they are clocked at 2.93 gigahertz. These are quad core processors and they do have two threads per core. So all in all, I have 16 logical cores to work with. I've currently got 24 gigs of non-ECC RAM. 24 gigs is the max of non-ECC RAM that the R710 can take. So until I get a set of uh, new sticks, I am stuck with the 24 gigs. The drive bays are filled with three sets of mismatched drives. I've got two one terabyte drives, two 500 gig drives, and then two 128 gig drives. And this was the only way that I could fill up all the bays and have RAID at the same time without tossing any drives or having to buy new hardware. Now in the future, I do plan on getting six drives of the same size so I can have a proper RAID array. As far as network connectivity is concerned, this R710 has the onboard quad gigabit NIC, and I'm only using two of those ports, one of which for the DMZ LAN and the other being the internal LAN. So that's my hardware setup for my home lab. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, and in a later video, I'll go over some of the services I'm running on this setup. <laughs> you know, if you like that video, you should subscribe to my channel. You too.